All right, what is up, guys? We are back with another Cyberpunk 2077 gang lore video. Uh, the gang is the scavengers. Uh, here's a quote from uh, the trail, the gang's trailer. Which gang's the city's biggest and baddest, according to the NCPD? Scavs hold the body count title or maelstrom, depending on the season. Uh, the number of members is unknown. So uh, let's see what they're about. I have not read this yet. Scavengers can be found all over Night City. They deal in selling to the black market cyberware forcefully ripped from their unsuspected victims. They are ruthless and care little for anyone else around them. There is no information available on their organization's hierarchy or how many of them there actually are. Pre-release materials from CDPR suggest that scavengers have connections with Soviet Union. Wow. Members speak Russian, have some Russian graffiti, listen to Russian music. Scavengers are recognized by their tracksuits, Soviet cyberware, criminal tattoos, for example. Interesting. All right, we got scavenger are ruthless, low-life scum who prey on unweary, law-abiding citizens and gangers alike. They emerge as a side effect of the mass availability of body augmentations. Harvesting cyberware and organs is a nasty but profitable business, and scavengers fill this niche by assaulting their victims on the streets. They are absolutely brutal with zero regard to human life. To a scav, a human is just a set of products waiting to be sold on the black market. Philosophy and structure. Scavengers don't obey any particular philosophy. They don't care about anything but themselves and profit. They are merciless and immoral. Their methods are far from sophisticated. Scavs are not afraid to get their hands dirty. This loosely defined gang has achieved a monopoly in the body parts aftermarket since their customers would rather pay for human organs and secondhand cyberware than get into the gore business themselves. Cyberware used by the gang include cyber optics, pain editors, health monitors, uh, Kereznikov, and KERS. Scavengers do not have a single cohesive piece of turf. The groups are spread throughout Night City and mark their presence with tags and graffiti. They can be found anywhere, but they have a more concentrated presence in northern Pacifica and southern part of Well Springs. Due to this scattering, they tend to form small bands with little or no internal hierarchy or structure. The groups tend to be led by the most unscrupulous, savage, and cunning individuals. Despite their lack of organized structure, scavenger groups are definitely not to be disregarded or taken lightly. Knowing that their gruesome reputation is one of their few assets, they will make sure to make a grisly example of anyone who crosses them or complicates their business. All right, here we go. Source of income. Assault, abduction, mutilation, and dismemberment are the scavenger's usual modus operandi. Their victims, or donors, as scavs call them, are often never found because the gang tend to use the entire body of their victims. Any cyberware or organs that can be harvested or sold are placed on the black market. The impossible to find leftovers are either dumped, burned, or left to fodder for rats in the city sewers. Scavengers are the main suppliers for low-end cyberware for other gangs, small-time criminals, and shady ripper docks. They are also frequently hired to perform unpleasant or inconvenient tasks with which their clients do not want to be associated, be they heist, hit jobs, and abductions. As long as there is money on the table, a scav will take the job, no questions asked. All right, interesting. So, uh, yeah, that was my last one. We've covered all eight gangs here. Uh, if you guys want to give this video a thumbs up, go ahead and do that. If you want more cyberpunk, uh, content the game drops in just a couple of days here and this channel will have plenty of content moving forward this game is going to be insane and it seems like there's so many choices and different paths to take and, and just the dialogue options and it's just there's going to be so much nobody's going to have the same playthrough i'm pretty excited so subscribe if you are new and i will see you guys on the next one